There's something different about him. New diet? Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the lemon tree purple potato. So here we are. And there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We just have a uh, schematic image there of purple potato, aka shockwave, lemon tree, purple potato. On this side of the box, we just have some more schematic images there of shockwave, more schematic images, more schematic images there on the back. Warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you on the top. Again, some more schematics on the bottom. Nothing, and that's basically it for the packaging. Then, moving right along, here we have Purple Potato, or Purple Potato, however you want to pronounce it. But yes, uh, this is Lemon Tree's take on Shockwave. Yes, this is Shockwave. So Lemon Tree came up with the insane yet genius idea to have Shockwave transform into the Decepticon ship from the 1986 movie. And this is crazy and genius, and I love it. And I think this is very well executed, in my opinion. But yeah, here he is in his ship mode. And let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You got some nice smoke detail there along the side. That's painted like a very dark gray. But very cool. I really dig this. I think they did a really good job. So you got some different shades of purple going on there. Again, some nice molded detail going on there. You got these thrusters, you got the spikes going on, you get some bits of silver in there. We do get some transclearance plastic there as well. Also get some bits of red. But overall, very cool, very nicely done. Very invocative of the ship from the movie. And yes, there is the top, there is the bottom. It slides as ships should slide. I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna fall over, but <laughs> there you have that. Let me set it this way and raise up a little bit. And now, for comparison, let's compare it to some other shockwaves that turned into ships. Uh, this is the, uh, the video game shockwave. So you can see how that works out. Very small, as you can see, compared to the purple potato. Uh, here it is with the Cyber Battalion shockwave. Again, not all that big. And here it is with the Siege. Shockwave, which is the only one that I think is kind of comparable in size. I mean, still shorter than Purple Potato, but, you know, in the ballpark. So, there you go. And as you can see, it does have a nice flight stand here, just on that transparent plastic. It also has some gray there as well. But yeah, you do need the stand because you can't stand it up without the stand, so... You will have to use the stand for it, but yeah, looks quite, quite cool. Now this does have a uh, light up feature. Um, the thrusters do light up. Um, the thrusters take uh, AG1 batteries or any of these numbers, which are the equivalent. Uh, you'll need six of these total. Uh, you need two for each thruster and you need one for the head. So you need six batteries in total. And to activate the light-up feature, you need uh, this little piece that's back here, right down to the stand, and this is just a little magnet, and you just hold it up against the thruster, and boop, and it turns on. It's a very weird thing, but that's how that works. I mean, I would've preferred maybe a switch or a button or something. This is kind of weird. I mean, it's it's clever, but it's kind of weird at the same time. You can see you get some nice bright LEDs that go off in those thrusters. And you do also get some effects parts. You get some transclearance 
purple effects parts, little blushing parts really, a little blushes, little baby blushes. You could plug these into the thrusters like so. And they get lit up okay, they get lit up pretty nicely. I think the light needs to be a little bit brighter, but you know, it does a pretty decent job of lighting things up. So you can have that nice effect going if you want to, and this will be your ship. You also get uh, two cannon hands here. Um, you can't transform him with the cannon hands. You do have to take these off. What? Parts form it. Shh. Yes. You have to take these off to transform him. <laughs> but, um, you know, as you can see, this one has the hose. The hose is actually just a metal spring, um, but very clever. And you just plug it onto the, uh, the tab, this tab here on the side. And then you have this little purple nub that you also have to plug onto the other end. And that is for robot mode. And you can store this. Um, there's a little post right here up front. You can just kind of take it and just plug that right in there. And I guess you can just kind of like wrap this around and there's a little port for it right down here. So you can kind of have everything stored like that. If you want to, there's no place for this one to go. There's, there's, it doesn't really. These posts on the sides are too big, and I uh, you know, guess kind of have it lying there or something. I don't know, just have it sitting there. I don't know. I don't think anybody's really going to use both cannon hands because he's only supposed to have one anyway. So, I mean, for what most people are going to use, there's pretty much storage for it all. And again, you can take the little uh, light activator thingamabob here, the magnet that just plugs onto the back. So, again, you can pretty much have. All of your accessories stored there if you want. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. But that is basically it for the alt mode. And I think it looks really, really cool in my opinion. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? I'm not going to spin this. That's just going to, I know it's going to end badly. And I don't know. Just no, just, just no. Now. I will say this about the instructions. The instructions are not great. Um, the pictures are small. Uh, it does skip some steps. So I had to watch some videos to learn how to transform this guy properly. And uh, yeah, not a fan of the instructions. Um, and a note to Lemon Tree. Um, there are two sides. Use them. But let's get down to the transformation. First thing we need to do is we need to uh, remove the little Blue parts off. We need to turn off the lights. I don't want the lights on. Turn off. Turn on. Boop. There we go. And boop. All right. Don't want to waste our batteries. We don't want to do that. Let's remove this too. Let's just get this. Get as many things out of our way as we can. And we shall commence. So the first thing we want to do is just some little steps. These front spikes right here, you just want to slide these in like so. Um, these fin pieces right here are on a rotational, like a disc here, so you just want to slide these up, like so. Again, just get them out of the way, just slide that up, like that. And uh, we can compress all this up right now, so what you want to do here is you want to pull this out. These sections are tabbed in, so you just want to pull these out, and that will allow you to then fold these up. And then you can bring this off to the side and you can see this tab gets exposed. I'll go into that slot right there. Just line it up and plug it in, plug it in. And then you just rotate it and just rotate that like so. You just flatten that out. And there you go. Second verse, just like the first. So just pull this out. So you can expose that tab and then just fold everything up and just Tab all that in, rotate, rotate, like so. And now we will come to this section here. You just want to untab it. It's on a double hinge here, so just extend it all the way. And then we can split this like that. And we can then remove the stand and put that off to the side. We don't need that no more. And we just kind of bring this out to the side and try to keep that out of our way. So we want to come back here. This section will open up like so. We have tabs that are holding all this together. Just want to get in there. Holds in very securely. 
Boop, there we go, on the one side, and then you have one on the opposite side. So just open all that up, and then you just gotta swing this stuff out. And these bits right here are his, uh, his kneecaps, so you just swing them over, see a little slot for it right there. Just tab it in, tab it in, tab it in, tab it in, and there you go. So once we have done that, now we're going to split this whole back section here. So first, you want to just untab these sections, just pull them up, that'll free that up, and we can just kind of start splitting all this, like so. Put all this, and once you do that, you just flip this out. Make sure that these things are out of the way. You can pull the leg out so you have more room to operate. And bring this all the way around like so. And we can get working on the legs. So these sections here, you just hold them up. Kind of compress them up as best you can, like that. You come here to the foot and you just swing the foot out. One note when you're going into ship mode is you do want to use that ankle tilt. You want to bring the ankle in a bit so it sits perfectly in this section. So basically when you have this right, you should not be able to see it when you're looking at it dead on. If it is peeking out the side, it's going to keep things from tabbing in together. So make sure when you're going into ship mode that you do engage that ankle tilt. Just have it tilting in a bit. So, we will uh, just straighten out the foot. And then you just want to take this assembly. It helps if you just kind of like rotate it up. And then you just want to rotate this joint like so. And then you can just bring the foot down like that. This section here just swings in. And then you have this panel here, which you're going to flip up. And now you're going to take this bit right here. Just rotate all that around. All this will come in. You want to flip this in. This is going to sit under this, so bring that in and just have all that sitting just right. This will tab in right in there. Just line that up and get that tabbed in. Get all that sitting in there like it's supposed to, just like that. And this piece will tab into that slot right there. Booyah. Then you just take what will be his heel, bring it up, rotate around. Bring that up, and there you go. So at this point now, what we're doing, we're just going to rotate the leg there at the knee so it's facing forward. You have this panel here. You just want to bring this up and rock it over. That will fall out the hip, there you go. Now these panels are on both sides of the legs. You're only using this one. You're not using the back one, you're just using this one. The only reason there's one on both sides is because they use the same mold for both legs, so they ended up having to put the panel on both sides. But you're only using this one. That's on the uh, on the front of his leg. But yeah, there you have a leg all done. Second verse, guess what? Is just like the first. So, just swing all of this out. Swing it all out. And just get this. I'll fold it up on that slack and just bring this out and again just make sure you have the ankle tilt engaged when you're going in but then you can straighten it out so just kind of bring the foot up that will help you just swing this joint around then you can bring the foot down bring up this panel you have to make the noise, boop, otherwise it don't work. Flip that in, and then flip this in. Flip all this in. And all of this will, oops, pop up the ball joint, there we go. Now that will just sit in there, and again, this will just tab in. Right here, lock that in place. That will tab in right there. To lock all that in place and there we go again just bring that up swing that around bring it up and then rotate at the knee take the panel swing it forward rock it over and there you have the legs all 
done. Pretty clever transformation there. I like that. I like it. So, there you have the lower body pretty much done. We still have a couple more things to do though here. So you want to, at this point now, bring the legs up. You can then bring the skirt pieces down. Bring the skirt pieces down. And we're going to now swing these sections out. Swing these sections out, like so. I had to stop to answer the door there. Okay, where were we? Um, So we brought the legs down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to... Take this whole lower body assembly here, bring it down. This whole thing is on a double hinge that you want to just rock down and then rock forward. And that will all sit like that. Then you just rotate the waist. And there we go. And we're officially done with the lower body. So now we move on to the upper body. So, you just want to take uh, these side sections here, just rotate them up. Oops, this game went done. There we go. And we can bring this back and just tab this together, like so. This little transclearing bit, you just bring that off to the side. And that's going to be his backpack. We just angle that back just to give us some room. And we move on. So, this panel here, you just want to flip up. And then this section here, you want to untab it. And then this will just swing back on that double hinge, like so. Same to the other side, just bring that up. And this section will untab and swing back. And these sections are on double hinge as well. You just want to just rock them in. So you can see they, those hinges sit right in those grooves like that. And once you've done that, this will just rock down and this will fill out his waist. So there you have that. So uh, we're getting to the home stretch here. So you just want to, uh, actually we're gonna start here first. You wanna come to these panels here open these up, open that up, and this little section here, you just push in and push in. You wanna come back here, open up this section, and in here is Wave's head. We just flip that up, and then you just flip that panel in, close that up, and there we go. So now we're going to split what will be his arms, and there's also a little magnet in here that holds the front of it together. It's kind of cool but you just bring this up now this part is a little annoying because this is the one part that likes to fight me a bit but the shoulders and this is a, a step in the instructions that they skip the shoulders you can see they're on a slider here so you want to slide the shoulders up and there we go that side work with me so once you've done that you can bring the arm out you can extend this joint all the way so it just gets the arm out of the way and do the same thing on the other side this one really fought me when i was shooting the jti and it'll probably fight me here come on come on buddy come on buddy it doesn't want to come on buddy it doesn't want to be my buddy it just doesn't yeah this this slider is the only part of this figure that really for some reason wants to fight me there we go we got it we got it we got it hooray all right so just bring the arm out and again, just kind of extend all those joints there just to get things out of your way like that. Okay, there we go. We're getting there. We're going places. So once you've done that, you want to take his chest piece here, just rock it up and then just sit it right in there. Then we can close these side sections up like so. That will all snap together to make his chest. And then you just want to take this whole assembly here and rock it back on this double hinge. And that will peg in, just push it down, get it all nice and squozen. And there we go. 
We're getting there. We're getting there. So at this point now, you just want to take the backpack, just bring it up. You can see you got these hook tabs here. And we'll just sit right in there. And then you just pull the backpack down. And that will lock all of that in place. Like so. And now we're pretty much at the home stretch. So bring the arm down. Um, the bicep is on a slider. So you just, once you bring it out, just, it doesn't go far. It's like the smallest little click you can see here. It's just like, boop, that's it. So it's just, it doesn't really, if you don't do it, you don't even notice it. But just a little shift there, just so it sits more flush uh, when you're going into ship mode. But rotate the bicep and then all this will slide up. And what you're going to do here with the arms is you're going to open up this panel here. Oh, first thing you want to do is actually want to open up this little panel. Open that up. That will allow you to open this up a lot easier. Then you just bring this down. You flip out his hand. And then you bring this in and this little panel here you want to flip in. So you just want it sitting up at like a 90 degree angle like that. And then you can collapse this up and then collapse that and that will lock in place. And then you just shift his shoulders up, close that little panel. And there you have an arm all done. Second fast, guess what? It's just like the fast. So just bring that down, shift that bicep out, that little click, rotate, slide that up, open up. This little panel here, open that up, open it down, flip out the hand, and just kind of angle it like this so you can then flip in that little panel. Close it up, close it up. Shift the shoulder up, that closed for me, thank you. And I think we're done, are we done? Yes, we're done, woo, we're done. And there you go, there you have purple potato. AKA Shockwave in his robot mode. And he's a good looking Shockwave. You know, he's G1 y, but he still has kind of a, you know, a little style all of his own. So I dig him. I dig him. So let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his chest. At the noggin. There's the noggin. You can see a very Shockwavey noggin going on here. So ears, his ears are on joints there, so you can kind of rotate those around. You got his eye. Very nicely done. I wish they'd use like a darker, like a like a just like a pitch black for that, for this section around the eye. Just so it's a little bit more, you know, pronounced, but not too bad. Got a transparent chest there. It's a nice molded detail. All around, looks good. And yes, he does have two proper hands. Well, of course, we can do something about that. And the legs, love the way the legs come together. The leg transformation is quite clever. You can see he got some die cast there. There are some die cast bits on him, so yeah, you know, a little bit. He's not heavy, but he has like, there, there's a little bit. There's a little something there, weight-wise. And moving up the back. The transformation is pretty clean. I mean, he's got the backpack going on there, but Shockwave is supposed to have a backpack. Really, the only extra bits are just these uh, these little sections here of the ship, but oh no. Everything compacts up quite, quite nicely. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on your ball joint, so you have your wiggly waggly. He can... Look up a good bit, can do a total squirrel. You can do that, can look down. Ed can do a full 360. Uh, the shoulders can do a full 360. Uh, these can get in the way, but you can actually shift them back if you want to. You can probably just bring these back. Get these out of the way. I don't know if that's something you want to do, but you can move them if you want to move them. Just to get them out of your way. So the shoulders can do a full 360, can move in and out. You got multiple joints to work with there. If you need them, 
Uh, you do have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow, so you have nice full range of movement there. Um, as far as the wrist, you do have wrist rotation. You do have posable hands. The thumb is on a ball joint at the base and then a hinge right there. And each finger is on a ball joint at the base and you have one hinge right there. You can get the fingers to splay out a little bit, not too much, but you get a little bit of splay there on the fingers. Um, you do have waist rotation. You do have an ab crunch that goes pretty much all the way. You have multiple joints to work with there if you need them. Of course, you have these panels here, which can move out of the way to accommodate the leg movements. Legs and go forward that far, back that far on a soft ratchet, outward. You can do the full splits again on a ratchet. You do have rotation right up here, pretty much right at the hip itself. Um, you do have 90 degrees of bend at the knee. The ratchet. Kind of clicky one way and then kind of buttery the other way which is kind of weird but hey that's the way it works or doesn't work i don't know <laughs> and the feet um they can move up they can move down you have rotation and you have your ankle tiltage um you have the ankle tilt like right up here in in this joint that we use for transformation and of course you do have a joint right here proper that you can use as well so you actually have two points for an ankle tilt if you need it and of course you can bring the heel down if you need it to support any posing and like i said these backpack pieces are on those hinges you kind of angle those how you want and of course we can give him his uh his cannon hand and all you have to do is just unpeg it like so and just peg on the cannon hand just bring this around. This will actually plug into the thruster here. There you go. Now you have the full proper shockwave look going on there, which I very much like. And of course, if you want to, you can give him two cannon hands. Hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? You want to give him both? You can give him both. So you can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang. Um, oh, another thing to note here about... Um, kind of assembly when you take them out of the box. Uh, these pieces right here, if I can get this open. This piece right here is actually packed separately in the box. And you just pull it up and you see it just tabs in. The little spike is also a separate piece and you just, uh, you just feed it through the back like that. And then it just drops right down. That's all you have to do there. Just a little assembly tip there when you get this guy out of the box. But that's how that works. But again, if you want to give him two cannon hands, hey, you can give him two cannon hands. Totally up to you. As always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. And you can attach the little uh, little blushes to the cannons. Um, no, he is not bluish compatible. You can't. These blushes don't work. You have to use the supplied blushes they're not as dramatic not as cool but hey they're blushes they're little blushes so you know what in this instance i'll count them just so we can do a big old double shock wave Boosh! so one-eyed bloosh that's that's just that just sounded all kinds of wrong no, no one I blue. <laughs> Why would you say that, Shockwave? Yeah, because I'm the one talking. Shh. Shh. Nobody asked you. Nobody asked you. Nobody asked you anything. But anyway, let's just put this one hand on. Take that off. <laughs> there you go. Um, as far as the uh, display stand goes, um, you can't use it in the robot mode because it ends up like back here so it's nothing to really do as far as using this in uh in the robot mode not that i am aware of anyway it doesn't seem like it but again you can use it for storage of your accessories you have a post up here you can use for that i don't know again you have places things you can plug stuff you can just remove the little legs also there are little posts here for it so you kind of compact everything up 
for easy storage, which is nice, make it all nice and compact. But hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, he does have a light up feature also in the head. And uh, just to show where the batteries go, you just open up the top of his head and right in there is the battery compartment. Like the same battery as the AG1s, two of them. And then you just bring in the little magnet piece and you just hold it up to his eye and whoop, his eye comes on. And it glows a nice bright yellow. And of course, if you want to, you can turn these on. Where is it? There's like a sweet spot for it. Come on, where's the sweet spot? There's a sweet spot for the magnet, which now I cannot find. There we go. You can turn on the thrusters if you wish. And uh, just to show off how you insert the batteries, here you just remove this old back piece. It just wiggles off and right in there's battery compartment. You just pull that out, put the batteries in, and just tie that all back together. There you go. If you want, you can have all the lights lit up if you wish again hey all things you can do if you want to do it so there you have that and now for comparison here he is with the uh the video game shockwave he's a little guy here he is with the cyber battalion shockwave here he is with Siege, Shockwave. Here he is with the Masterpiece, Shockwave. You can see it's a little bit taller than the MP. Here he is with MP Megs. And since he does turn into Galvatron's ship, uh, here he is with the fans toys, Galvatron. So, there you go. So there you have the purple potato, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. No, don't do, don't do any of those things. But yeah, um, all in all, a um, really cool figure. You know, such a weird idea, but it works. It works, in my opinion. Um, the ship mode looks great. Uh, the robot mode looks great. The transformation, you know, it, it works. It's smooth. It's enjoyable. The only thing that may fight you is just those sliders for the shoulders. That may be the only thing that fights you on this figure, but otherwise, everything else comes together very smoothly. So, all in all, very enjoyable figure. Like I said, weird idea to have him turn into the uh, Decepticon ship from the 86 movie, but... It works, they pulled it off very well in my opinion. So hey, I dig it. I definitely dig this guy, so. Now this figure is available for pre-order at BigBadToyStore.com. As always, link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Lemon Tree Purple Potato. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Hey Wave, what's with the new look, huh? What you what you got going on there? Oh, this is nothing. I'm just uh just planning for any, you know, eventualities, you know, any circumstances. Like you maybe dying or something? What? What? Did you say me dying? Come on now. You're crazy. I mean really the worst that could happen is that I get reformatted into a totally new body. But even then you would still technically be serving me. That seems illogical. You don't know! Tell me I'm gonna die. Got some nerve. Hey, I'm just weighing all my options, alright?